In this video, we're continuing on with the triangle angle sum worksheet, otherwise known as the angles in a triangle worksheet on the CUDA software website. You can find this within the geometry section. Now, picking up where we left off with number nine, we have to remember the vertical angle theorem, the triangle sum theorem, and the definition of linear pair. If you're confused on any of those, go back to the first video for this worksheet or go to my geometry tutorials on YouTube. We're solving for the indicated angle. So number nine, our indicated angle is here. Let's call this X. In order to solve for X, we're going to need to utilize the triangle sum theorem to solve for this angle. Let's call this angle A. Knowing A, we'll get that 39 degrees plus A plus X equals 180. However, we have two variables and we only want one variable, which is X. So we need to figure out how to solve for A. A forms a vertical angle with its angle. Let's call this angle B. So we know that angle B is congruent to angle A. So once we solve for B, we will know A. And to solve for B, it's an interior angle within a triangle and the other two angles are given to us. So 20 degrees plus 40 degrees plus B will equal 180 degrees because the three angles within a triangle add up to 180. So 20 plus 40 degrees will give us 60 degrees. So 60 degrees plus B equals 180. Subtracting 60 degrees from both sides, we'll get that angle B is equal to 120 degrees. So now that we know that B is 120 degrees, since B is congruent to A, we know that A is also 120 degrees. And knowing that, we'll be able to solve for X because 39 degrees plus 120 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees. 39 degrees plus 120 degrees equals 159 degrees. Adding that to X equals 180. So when we subtract by 159, we get that X is equal to 21 degrees. So 21 degrees is our solution in number nine. In number 10, we're solving for this indicated angle. Let's call this angle Y. In order to solve for Y, we're going to use the triangle sum theorem with 35 degrees and this other missing angle. Let's call this angle P. We know that P plus 50 degrees plus this missing angle, let's call this angle R, equals 180 because they form a straight line. And we can solve for R since it's an interior angle of a triangle where the other two angles are indicated. So 60 degrees plus 65 degrees plus R equals 180 degrees. 60 plus 65 is 125 degrees plus R equals 180 degrees. So when I subtract 125 degrees from both sides, I get that R is equal to 55 degrees. So if 55 degrees equals R, I'll be able to solve for P. Since 55 degrees plus 50 degrees plus P equals 180 degrees. 55 plus 50 is 105 degrees. Adding that to P equals 180 degrees. So when I subtract 105 degrees from both sides, I get that P is equal to 75 degrees. So knowing that P is 75 degrees, I can now solve for Y. 75 degrees plus 35 degrees plus Y equals 180 degrees. 75 plus 35 is 110 degrees. Adding that to Y will equal 180. So subtracting 110 from both sides, I get that Y, our indicated angle, is equal to 70 degrees for number 10. And number 11, I'm solving for this angle. Let's call this X. In order to solve for X, I need to solve for this angle. Let's call this Y. And in order to solve for Y, I need to solve for this angle. Let's call this angle Z. So solving for Z, 36 plus 84 plus Z will equal 180 because of the triangle sum theorem. 36 degrees plus 84 degrees equals 120 degrees. Then when I subtract 120 degrees from both sides, I'll get the measure of angle Z, which is 60 degrees. So knowing that 60 degrees equals Z, 
we can see that z is complementary with y. So complementary angles sum to equal 90 degrees. We can say that 60 degrees, which is z, plus y equals 90 degrees. When I subtract 60 degrees from both sides, I get that y is equal to 30 degrees. So knowing that y equals 30 degrees, I can finally use triangle sum theorem to solve for our indicated angle x. 86 degrees plus 30 degrees plus x equals 180 degrees. 86 plus 30 degrees equals 116 degrees. I'll add that to x and that is equal to 180. When I subtract by 116, I isolate my x. So 180 minus 116 is 64 degrees. So 64 degrees is my solution in number 11. In number 12, I'm solving for this indicated angle. Let's call this angle Y. In order to solve for Y, I need to know this angle. Let's call this A, and I can see that angle A is congruent to angle B, where this is angle B, because they are vertical angles. So I'm going to use triangle sum theorem to solve for B, which in turn will give me A, and then again use triangle sum theorem to solve for y. So 35 plus 23 will give me 58. So 58 degrees, the sum of 35 and 23, plus b will give me 180 degrees. Subtracting 58 degrees from both sides, I'll get that b is equal to 122 degrees. So if angle B equals 122 degrees, then angle A also equals 122 degrees. And now I can use the triangle sum theorem to solve for Y. 27 degrees plus 122 degrees equals 149 degrees. Adding that to Y will equal 180. When I subtract 149 degrees from both sides, I get that y is equal to 31 degrees. So 31 degrees is my solution in number 12. In number 13, I'm solving for this indicated angle. Let's call this x. x is a supplementary angle or a linear pair with this angle, angle A. And in order to solve for A, I need to know angle B and angle C. We have that this angle is 90 degrees. So in order to solve for C, we can see that this is a straight line, so all the angles will add up to 180 degrees. So adding C to 90 degrees to this angle, let's call this angle Z, that will equal 180 degrees. But in order to solve for Z, I have to add that to 85 and this other unknown angle, let's call this angle Y. So there's lots of steps in this problem, but follow along and we'll work through this together. So let's start by solving for this angle B. B is supplementary with 155. So we know that B plus 155 degrees equals 180 degrees. When you subtract 155 degrees from both sides, we'll get that B is equal to 25 degrees. So we know that B is 25 degrees. So 25 degrees plus A plus C will equal 180. We can't solve for A yet, so now we're going to solve for C. And in order to solve for C, we need to solve for Z. But to get Z, we need Y. So Y forms the supplementary angle with 115. So 115 degrees plus Y equals 180. Subtracting 115 from both sides, we get that Y is equal to 65 degrees. So knowing that y is 65 degrees, we can now solve for z. So 65 degrees plus 85 degrees plus z equals 180 degrees. 65 degrees plus 85 degrees equals 150 degrees. Adding that to z will equal 180. So now that we've added 85 to 65, we're going to subtract that from 180 to get z. Subtracting 150, from 180, we get that z is equal to 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is equal to z. Now we'll add 30 degrees to 90 degrees to c to get 180, since those angles all add up 
to 180 degrees. So 30 degrees Z plus 90 degrees plus C equals 180. 30 plus 90 equals 120 degrees. We're adding that to C and that equals 180 degrees. So when I subtract 120 degrees from both sides, I get that C is equal to 60 degrees. So I have that C is 60 degrees, B is 25 degrees, and I can now solve for A, since A plus B plus C will equal 180. So 25 degrees B plus 60 degrees, which was C, plus A equals 180 degrees. 25 plus 60 is 85 degrees. Adding that to A will equal 180. Subtracting 85, I get that A is equal to 95 degrees. I can now finally solve for X because A and X are a linear pair. So 95 degrees plus X equals 180 degrees. So when I subtract 95 degrees from both sides, I get that X is equal to 85 degrees. So 85 degrees is the measure of my indicated angle for number 13. And number 14, I'm solving for this angle. Let's call this angle Y. In order to solve for Y, I need to know angles X and angles Z. Let's start by solving for angle Z. Angle Z forms a linear pair with 156 degrees. So I know that 156 degrees plus Z equals 180 degrees. Subtracting 156 from both sides, I get that Z is equal to 24 degrees. So knowing that Z is 24 degrees, I now need to solve for X in order to solve for Y. X forms a vertical angle with this angle, let's call this A. So that means that A is going to be congruent with angle X. So we need to solve for A in order to get X. And A plus 20 plus 35 equals 180 because they're the interior angles of a triangle. 20 degrees plus 35 degrees equals 55 degrees, and that plus A equals 180. When I subtract 55 degrees from both sides, I get that A is equal to 125 degrees. So if A equals 125 degrees, then since it's congruent to X, X is also equal to 125 degrees. Now I can add Y, Z, and X together to get 180. So Y plus 24 degrees plus 125 degrees equals 180. 24 plus 125 degrees equals 149 degrees. Adding that to Y, we'll get 180 degrees. Subtracting 149 degrees from both sides, we'll get that Y is equal to 31 degrees in number 14. So 31 degrees is our solution for number 14. In number 15, I'm solving for this indicated angle Let's call this angle X. I know that 45 degrees forms a vertical angle with this angle and is therefore congruent. So this angle is also equal to 45 degrees. 60 plus 45 degrees plus this unknown angle will equal 180 degrees. So 60 plus 45, those sum to be 105. So I'm going to take 180 degrees, subtract 105 degrees to get this angle which is equal to 75 degrees. Now 75 degrees plus 68 degrees plus this angle equals 180 since they form a straight line. So 180 degrees minus 75 degrees plus 68 degrees equals, well, 75 plus 68 equals 143. And if I subtract 143, from 180, I get 37 degrees. So this angle is 37 degrees. And I know that 100 degrees plus 37 degrees plus this angle will give me 180 degrees. So I need to take 180 degrees and subtract 100 degrees plus 37. So I'm adding those two angles that I know and I'm taking that away from 180. So 180 minus 137 will give me 43 degrees. So I know that this angle is 43 degrees. And 43 degrees 
forms a linear pair with x. So 180 degrees minus 43 degrees will equal x, which in this case is 137 degrees. So x equals 137 degrees for number 15. I did 15 slightly different than I did numbers 9 through 14 because in 9 through 14, I labeled each angle as a variable and solved for the variables. I essentially did the same thing, but I worked through the angles as I went along, solving each of them in turn. That way, I didn't have to have so many variables written on my paper. So whatever method you feel most comfortable with, go ahead and do that. Now I'll move on to number 16. In number 16, I'm solving for this angle over here. 45 degrees forms a vertical angle with this angle, so I know that this angle also equals 45 degrees. 75 degrees also forms a vertical angle, so I know that this angle is also equal to 75 degrees. Knowing 45 degrees, 75 degrees, I can solve for this angle here. So 180 degrees, the sum of all my interior angles of a triangle, minus the angles I know, 45 degrees plus 75 degrees. 45 plus 75 gives me 120. So I have 180 minus 120, which equals 60 degrees. So this angle is 60 degrees. And I know that 60 degrees plus 79 degrees plus this angle will equal 180. So I'll just subtract 79 and 60 from 180. So 180 minus 79 degrees plus 60 degrees. So when I add 79 to 60 and taking that sum away from 180, I'm essentially taking 180, subtracting 79, and then again subtracting 60 from that new value. So 180 minus 79 and then subtracting 60 will give me 41 degrees. So this angle is 41. 41 plus 68 plus this angle will give me 180 degrees. So I'll take 180 degrees and I'll subtract 41 plus 68. So 180 minus 109 will give me 71 degrees. So this angle is 71. And since these two form a linear pair, they're supplementary. So I'll have 180 degrees minus 71 degrees to give me my indicated angle, which is 109 degrees. So 109 degrees is my solution in number 16. And I'll stop this video here. However, before you continue on, remember to subscribe. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.